Christianity's life, especially alcohol. We've been trying to help him, to take him from one place to another. This year, when I went for vacation, he was there at the archbishop's house. And they told me that they took him for three months in Dar es Salaam, where he has been treated with getting all the anti-alcohol drugs. And he came, he said, now I'm recovered. So people were so happy, cherishing, showing that now our brother is back. But after just for one month, he has gone down again. And this morning, they called me. Now it's four days. They don't know where he has gone. Imagine that he's your brother, he's your pastor, he's your friend, and the way he undergo in his journal of life. Pray for those who are struggling in their spiritual journey or in their physical health, emotional struggles, in the psychological stress and problems because you don't know where you go. And every time he's open and say, yeah, I know I am struggling. But once he has been treated, he just come back for three months and then he goes down. Today, let us pray for those people because they belong to our families. They belong to our communities. They belong to our church. And they belong to the whole world. Imagine a priest who is supposed to take care of the souls of the people. Now it's very difficult for him to take care even for himself. Let us pray so that God may touch our lives, but also may touch their lives also, so that they can have good health, both spiritual and physically. Nothing is impossible if we put our trust in God. Let us not lose our hope that one day he will be recovered by the grace of God. Let us pray for those holy moments which always transforms our lives. We said we are spirit-filled community. Let us allow the power of the Holy Spirit to transform us, to give us that energy, to continue always to put our trust in Jesus. To allow that we surrender ourselves and let God take charge in our journey of life. Amen. Please stand. Lord Jesus, we thank you for this wonderful day, and we thank you for allowing us always to ponder and even to come closer to you so that we can recognize your presence. And for this, we pray. For all the high school and the college students that attended this past weekend's DYC, Diocese and Youth Conference, that they know they are loved by Christ, we pray to the Lord. For young adults that are searching for a faith family, may they find our ascension family a living example of Christ's love. We pray to the Lord. For those who feel overwhelmed by life, may they seek and find the peace that surpasses understanding that only Jesus can provide. We pray to the Lord. For our ascension family, faith formation families, and their intentions, may they be shored with the knowledge of God's unconditional love. We pray to the Lord. 
for priest, deacon, staff, and laity to prepare for this Lenten season with a love and joy for the Lord. We pray to the Lord. For all those impacted by natural disasters, war, injustice, and suffering, may the people of God join together to bring peace and justice to their lives. We pray to the Lord. We ask thee through Christ our Lord. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, who come for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, who come our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May this oblation, O Lord, we pray, cleanse and renew us, and may it become for those who do your will the source of eternal reward through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just to our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnated by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels in all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we are praying. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy there for these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like they do for, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, broke it, and gave it to disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the choice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the choice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death 
until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks to that who have heard us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, you are church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis of Hope and Mary, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Lourdes Mendes, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all have died in mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, O oh, we pray, that to the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. May merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Gracious grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and gracious grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, to live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the sap of the Lamb. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you, 
never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, so that all who believe in him may not perish, but may have eternal life. Let us pray. Having fed upon these heavenly delights, we pray, O Lord, that we may always long for that food by which we fully live through Christ our Lord. On behalf of Jim and Donna and all of you, I want to say thank you for your prayers and thank you for your participation. And for those who are watching online, also thank you for your prayers and for your participation. What we have come to learn today in the gospel, healing is a process. Let us pray so that God may continue to heal us. And pray for those who are struggling for the healing process. Don't judge them, but accept them and walk through in their own shoes. You don't know what they are undergoing with. You don't know what kind of challenge they have in their journey of life. What we need always to say, Lord, show them your love and mercy and your kindness. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. 
Go in the peace of Christ.